What is going on Safemoon Army? It is Safemoon Surge here yet again with another video for you all today. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. To all the new viewers, welcome to Safemoon, a community-driven innovation for good. If you have not consolidated to V2, make sure to do that on the wallet or on the swap here on the website. With that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I do greatly appreciate the support. And if we can, let's try to get the channel to 10,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate that. You guys have been so supportive up to this point, and I will consistently continue to give you guys content about SafeMoon. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take a quick look at BSC scan here. 651,129 addresses as of right now, which is great. We're continuing to climb up. We have been slowly growing, but we are still growing. Hopefully with more products coming out, we'll get more holders. With that being said, the price reflects that as well. We are down to 2011. I was hoping we can stay in the 12s, but it looks like we have come back down for a little bit. Um, I think at this point, SafeMoon really needs to start releasing some solid prod like products. And that being said, we have the card coming out in this quarter. Uh, we may be getting some type of NFT simply because of what John keeps posting on Instagram, which I will show you guys here shortly. Uh, but yes, we do need to start releasing some products. And I'm very excited for the exchange. We know that Mandela finally gave us an update. So let me go ahead and move over here to deck screener we can see that the volume is 1.2 million if we take a look here evergrow is finally back so evergrow did confirm yesterday that they will be swapping back over i believe we have one other partner left if i'm not mistaken that needs to actually move back over so you can see reflex is actually back so a lot of actually i think that's it i think those are all of our we have some other ones like Lydian Stater. I don't even know who this is. Um, but for the most part, let's take a quick look here at Twitter. I think say this is Safe Moon V1. I think it is as well. Um, but Safe Moon is number top number one trending product on Certic. Uh, yeah, I think that is V1. If not, maybe it is V2. But we can see here Evergrow Meta. Um, we can expect to be back on Safe Moon Swap within 24 hours, Evergrow family. So this is the official Evergrow page. Um, but yes, they are going to be coming back on the Safe Moon Swap. And this was 21 hours ago, so they are officially back on, I believe. Um, but yes, so for everyone who was concerned, is Evergrow coming back? Yes, they are. So Hypofly here. Safe Moon is a Discord moderator. For some reason, put this out on Twitter and it said the Mandela launch video is ready. So it's ready. All it needs is a push of a button. So a lot of people are expecting that we should be getting an announcement from Mandela. He did say, note, this will be an unofficial video just to clarify. And so everybody was really excited. And then we come to find out here in a little bit, I'll show you guys, but let's talk a little bit about John's NFT post. You can see this is kind of like a matte black um, suit here. Some type of suit, obviously NFT. John just said, hashtag safe moon, hashtag NFT. I'm not gonna lie, I like this one way more than the shinier armor that he was showing. That's just my personal opinion, so I would prefer this NFT for when that comes out. So hopefully I can get my hands on one of these, and hopefully you guys as well can. Um, I think they will probably launch this, honestly, on the Evergrow NFT marketplace. If you guys didn't see, um, let me actually go back here for a second. Um, if you guys didn't know, Evergrow is coming out with their own NFT marketplace, which you guys can see here. Thanks, Evergrow Sam, for this walkthrough of our amazing NFT marketplace. We are so deep into this build now. Remember, this has been designed and coded from scratch and will be 100% unique. So happy with this beautiful utility. For so, me, classic spelling mistakes that you all love. Let me kind of. So, yeah, they're going to be obviously launching their own NFT marketplace, which I think John will launch the Naughty Knots or whatever NFT this may be for Safe Moon. 
just my opinion. Now, speaking more on Man Mandala, we did have this right here, Safe Moon Update. This was in the Discord, I believe. So ZMDX from Mandela, I believe this is their CEO, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, plans to launch Safe Moon trading in April are still on track. Initially, we will open trading without global reflections, also known as Glow Talks, also known as Global Tokenomics. We will mimic what other centralized exchanges are currently doing with regard to distributing reflections internally to the exchange. He's referring to local tokenomics. Development on the system for global reflections is mostly complete, mostly complete. But as it interfaces with our wallet architecture, which happens to be Binance, there are a lot of complexities involved from the technical security perspective. As we're the first decentralized exchange to build a system like this, we also have to complete very strict testing procedures to be sure everything is secure and working properly. We will announce the launch schedule soon via our normal channels. Thank you for your continued patience and support. So let's kind of walk through here and see what people are saying. Another exchange with Glow Talk is useless. We already have 14. They are useless and diversify the owners. If the Glow Talk cannot be done, perhaps it is better to reconsider the plans. Glow Talks end of summer. Every safe moon releases at two to three months from actual release date regarding blockchain at another 12 months. Yeah, so I mean, people aren't, aren't very happy that this is the case. We were all hoping for global tokenomics. Something is better than nothing. That's a good way to look at it. Um, guess we're not getting safe moon special this week. Most likely not. But you know... I was, I, I'm not gonna lie, full transparency. I was bummed out that they weren't gonna implement global tokenomics. I was really hoping that they'd have that figured out. Um, you know, to this person's point at the top, I can pretty much agree with them. You know, another exchange without global tokenomics doesn't do much for us. We kind of saw that with DG Phoenix, right? It, it, it didn't even impact our volume per se in reflections i didn't see a difference in reflections from getting listed on there i know this is more of a long-term play don't get me wrong but it is it did bum me out that global to tokenomics isn't coming when we thought it is it's just going to be delayed so i'm hoping that they can get this figured out and hopefully get it released soon because i think that's going to really bring a lot of attention to mandela and it would only benefit them if they're able to get this figured out and launched, in my opinion. And obviously, it will benefit us even more. So, yeah, that is that is the update on Mandela. Swap and Evolve flipped the switch, John, and he said it will cost you 32 chicken nuggets. <laughs> Swap and Evolve is almost done. I mean, at this point, I think all the partners have sent over their liquidity. We should all be back on, and I think at this point, it's just a matter of time. I think we could see Swap and Evolve happening here soon. Um, we still need that router upgrade to be completed, and then Swap and Evolve will be done. Here's some more um, on Mandela. In fact, in regards to global to tokenomics, so... The analogy here said, okay, next question, is the global tokenomics platform being built to be scalable so you can implement global tokenomics for other coins? BTB Mandela said here, once we successfully implement one listing, it should not be that big of a jump to do it for others. That's awesome. That is absolutely massive. So this is actually a huge upgrade for your exchange as a whole. Well, it's definitely a bonus that we will have the capability to be more efficiently do this again in the future. It was the first exchange to do such a thing. Your popularity will most definitely skyrocket. Yeah, I mean, Mandela needs to get this figured out. Mandela needs to really put this out and get this figured out because it's going to really put them on the map and really bring a ton of attention. And a lot of tokens and coins that offer tokenomics will want to get listed on there. So, and this is the other NFT John posted. He actually posted this on Twitter. 
I don't like this one as much. Maybe this is just, we'll see. Someone said we don't need NFT. We need swap and evolve and centralized exchange. They can all be worked on at the same time as it is different teams working on different products. That's true. That's very true. Clearly not. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, people just, pe people really want some, some like results here, you know, um, they want some stuff. So there was a question asked, is there a limit on withdrawal amounts on the safe moon card? Like Binance is, is $290 euros per day. John Caroni said, stay tuned for information to be released through official channels. Someone had asked Mr. Adult, Mr. Adult integrating SafeMoon education to our wallet will be a better idea. Other investors would also look onto our progress. And he said, that's the plan. So we do have some exciting stuff happening. I mean, you can't say that there isn't stuff happening. Of course there's stuff happening, but we're just patient. I think it's just a matter of time. I keep saying it's just a matter of time, you know, but yeah, these these products need to come out. I mean, I think people are kind of short on patience at this point, even though it's only been a year. Um, to me, the wallet really has been the best thing that I've experienced and what I'm very proud of with SafeMoon because they really, really have done a great job on that. Um, at this point, you know, it's just a matter of moving forward. And... We need that router upgrade completed. We need that swap and evolve implemented. We need SafeMoon Connect to come through. And that SafeMoon cart, you know, safe and their point of sale that they're talking about. And then the exchange. Obviously, with these things, once these things are fully integrated, we can see some serious, serious um, volume come for SafeMoon. I'm not too worried about the price as much as I am the volume and I would want that volume to come from exchanges with global tokenomics and our exchange right because we're missing out on a lot of reflections right now with these exchanges that are doing you know if you look at DG Phoenix I mean they're doing three billion close to almost four billion in volume on a 24 hour volume and even just a fraction of that to be for safe moon same with when mandela comes out you know so uh, let's see mandela down here if we can find them um, as far as what their volume is that's that's what i'm really really wanting i don't want i don't even know where mandela is to be honest as far as volume goes um, but regardless, you guys kind of get my point. I want volume more than anything. I want volume. And the reason being is because the price will eventually go up with the more volume that we have. Right. And so not only that, but I want those reflections. I, w I want that reflection. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. You know, I know a lot of people are kind of like frustrated right now with safe moon you know, we do need some product launches. I do agree 150% on that. Um, but at the end of the day, we just, if we truly believe in this project, which I know I do, then we just continue to hodl. We continue to keep the faith. We continue to support the team, continue to support each other. And then from there, things will play out how they should. With that being said, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I do appreciate you all. And I will talk to you all in the next one. God bless.